pressing the back button at and indeed it goes backwards and it should stop before it goes to the brick behind the car hi there and welcome to tech Blower. and welcome close to my model 3 I've shown you in other videos how navigate on autopilot and how autopark works that is part of the enhanced autopilot packets but the last thing that is included in the packets is summon but what is summon well it basically can drive the car backwards and forwards and also drive the car to the lo location where you're standing if you're close enough to the car so i'm going to show you how the summon feature works so now my car is in quite a tight spot not very tight where i really need to use the summon feature but i just didn't find a tighter spot to fit the car in so let's see how this works so i'll have to use my phone i'll show you in a screen recording what is going on with the phone so i'll open the test lab and down here we have the feature summon and here you see that it's trying to connect to my car and I have these arrows down here and if I press the up arrow the car should drive forward let's see how it works nothing is happening let's see if if I take airplane mode off my phone if it works better probably it needs Bluetooth to work so let's do this again go into summon and we see here in Icelandic that it's trying to connect to the car but now you can see on the map that it sees the car on the parking lot so let's try to drive the car forward just by clicking and holding the forward arrow because you always have to hold the arrows on the screen so the car drives forward let's try it out there's no one sitting in the car And nothing happens and here you it says in Icelandic summon failed and it says that I have to be closer to the car all right let's try that let's be closer to the car press the forward button let's see what happens nothing happens failed again it says I have to be even closer then I'll all the way up to the car almost clicking the forward button and still it's having issues this is crazy do I have to stand beside the car for it to work that doesn't make sense Okay, now I'm beside the car and the car is driving forward. But why should I be such so close to the car? And right away when I take my finger off the forward button, the car stops. So let's see if now the car has a connection to my phone, if I can stand here and let it drive forward. nothing is happening nope this is quite silly because why should I need to be so close to the car for the summon feature to work I'm half a meter from the car now and it doesn't work what if I'm a in such a tight spot that I can't go closer then this feature is useless so let's go besides the car I press the forward button and what happens the cars start to go forward and now it's scanning for me and doesn't want to go fo more forward if I stay behind the car let's see what happens
I'm behind the car and now the car can go forward. I hope. Nope. But let's go back then. If the car doesn't want to go forward, let's see if the car can go backwards. I'm pressing the back button. Nothing is happening. And it says that I have to be closer to the car. This is so silly. It's almost useless. Now I'm beside the car, pressing the back button. At, and indeed it goes backwards. And it should stop before it goes to the brick behind the car. And it does. Let's go forward again. I'm pressing the forward button. Nothing is happening. Nope. Lifting it off. Pressing it again. And now it's going forward. But how far will it go? It goes really slowly. Okay, it goes further now. And it's kind of driving out of the parking spot. But not far enough in my opinion. Because if the parking spot is really tight, this is not enough. I can't get into the car. So let's back it up again. I should be close enough. Or not. Nope. So as you can see, this feature is quite finicky and almost quite useless because I just have to be really close to the car for it even to work. So let's try to back the car into the parking spot again. I'll stand really close to the car as it wants me to do. Press the back button and Indeed, it goes backwards and into the parking spot again. And as before, it will stop when it's all the way into the parking spot. I'm still holding the button, still holding, and the car stops even though I'm holding the button. But there is another feature in the summon that I'm not sure that works in Iceland maybe works in the US. There are some EU restrictions here in Iceland. It's the button on the screen here. It says Fara á áfangastað. It's actually saying that I want the car to come to me where I am. But according to what I saw here, I have to be really close to the car for this to even work. But let's try it out. So I'm standing here a little bit further away Let's see if the car can come to me. I'm holding the button. Let's see what happens. Nope. Same here again. It says I'm too far away from the car. So if I'm that close to the car and the feature to let the car come to me doesn't work, it's totally useless. So I really hope in the next update to summon and hopefully the EU restrictions get a little bit less restrictive. This will work much better. So this was summon. And as you can see, it doesn't work that well here in Iceland, probably due to the EU restrictions. But I've seen this feature work really well in the US, both with uh, manual driving forwards and backwards and also with the feature that the car can come to you, to your location. But as for now, this feature is quite useless here in Iceland. But at least now you know how to use it. I really hope you like this video. And maybe you learned something new. And if you like the content on my channel, please consider subscribing. 
because it really helps my channel grow. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. See you in my next video.